Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and we're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and we are going to make a quick lyric video. First thing we're going to do is highlight this picture in picture track, and we're going to delete it. And then we're going to grab our song, and we're going to drag it to the audio track. It doesn't matter if it says audio or music. These are just arbitrary titles. Uh, and listen to it a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and go to View, Window, Default Layout, Default Layout. And so we can see our master uh, sound bus here, because we want to make sure it's not too loud. So this one's a little loud out of the gate. How? I don't really know because uh, it's fresh off the mix, but it is something that you want to turn down because it will distort when you render it out. Make sure the loud parts are uh, not peaking there in the corner. And so there you go. We've turned down the volume a little bit. That is problem one. Problem two, we need a picture. So grab your picture, your artsy picture you need, uh, and make sure that it is cropped correctly, something that is right here starting on this first keyframe not creating any other keyframes go ahead and go to 16 by 9 if it's not and then you can select uh, how and where or what part of this picture is going to be seen um, then I'm gonna go ahead and hit control Z because I don't want to make any changes I just wanted to show you that if your picture isn't matching your video output that is something that you can fix actually I need to control Z one more time there we go so uh, you can click the corner of this and drag it if you're new to Vegas I have a whole video all about it that you need to watch first uh, just how to get used to basic editing but uh, you can click and grab the corner here drag it all the way to the end of the song so now we got a song and a picture uh, so the next thing we need is the text and we can actually hit control shift and Q or right click and hit create another video track here uh, to get more video tracks and we can actually create an effect here so we can go to media generators and titles and text and then here we have a whole bunch of different pre-animated titles uh, that look really good and uh, let's pick one that works for uh, our song here and let's give this one a try so uh, hopefully you have your lyrics already on a sheet you can copy and paste I would totally do that if you haven't um, you can get into edit your text boxes by clicking this button right here and now you're in your text box and we can delete that and we can just grab the first line of the song and put it in here see how that looks maybe you can even lower it a little bit uh, but here we go you can do anything you want to it like change your outline if you want it to have an outline and change the outline color whatever you're gonna do to all of your text do it to this first one here and you know whatever font you choose come up here to highlight it all and then you can check you can find something that works for your style um, let's try this one okay so uh, now we've got something that is okay the animation is a little slow for this song mm, that might work okay I do like that so uh, it's going to move kind of fast though which is why we're going to use two different tracks uh, but go ahead and hit control s save your project and then um, then hit control hold control and drag your text box to the next spot you can do it right next to it or in the track above it doesn't matter but the track above is going to help us uh, keep this in a flowy manner I'll show you how and it's going to ask you to create a new copy of the source media we're going to hit OK and um, that you definitely want to hit new copy there and not a uh, reference because reference will change all of them to be the same and you need them to be different so uh, the next one um, we're gonna right click and copy this next line here like I said you can change font and everything right click copy I'm gonna go over here Control V while it's highlighted. That will um, that will add it in over top. If it's too much, you can hit Enter and make two lines out of it, or whatever you want to do. It's your project here. So um, the next step. Okay, and we can make this a little longer. 
So you can keep these butted up right next to each other. I like to have a little room to work in case you want to make a fade or something like that. Different animations take a different amount of time to swing in and stuff. And then uh, you can right click, drag again, hit create new copy, and then just keep gone going. Keep grabbing your next line. Drop it in here, control V. You get all the way to the end. That's not too difficult, and that's the same process. So uh, we're done with that part right there. You just picked out the fades and the fonts and everything that worked for you. The next thing that you want to do is a lot of times they have an effect over the whole project, kind of keep it punchy and alive looking. Uh, so to do that, you can go to your video effects, go to your creative tab here. There's all sorts of things like cookie cutter, crop, film effects, film grain. Um, Let's say you wanted to add a film grain. What you could do is you could add a subtle film grain, just click and drag it, and drag it to your FX button on your preview window here. That adds it to the entire project, including your text and everything. And you can change the uh, uh, a lot about it, how big the grains are, everything. Give it a look down here. Make it feel more alive. A lot of people do the film effects version. There's all sorts of things you can do. You can customize that, and it just adds everything to your whole project. So once you're done with all the text, you just grab it, just highlight it all, project, render as. As we discussed many times before, you select a good codec, probably one for YouTube, so you're going to go to... Um, Magic's AVC AAC and then this one's a 1080p picture so we're not going to want to change the scaling or anything on that's so 1080p 29 frames per second i'm going to pick the one for my graphics card hit render and then boom that would be a lyric video ready for youtube so thanks for watching like this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more remember anything including buying the software through my affiliates links helps me out a ton thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time